Hi fellow Greasy Garage Dwellers, I'm Chuck, this is Up Chuck Chops, thanks for joining me. Today we're working on the 1980 CB900. We have to remove an oil pump to put a gasket on, to reinstall the oil pump, to reinstall the oil pump cover, and uh, I'll fill you in on that on, in a minute, but uh, we're working our way back out from the center to get our pulse generator coils back on. Let's get to it. This is my new oil pump cover gasket. However, this much of it lands right behind this oil pump. So I have to clean this gasket material off. I have to remove the pump, which makes no sense at all. Once again, Honda engineers in the 80s, probably late 70s, before this hit the market in 80. Regardless, uh, why? I have my tools gathered up in my new scrap parts toolbox in case you are wondering this is 10 millimeter socket just gonna those are pretty snug bub I'll loosen these up and then i'll take them out I am laying these right to left in the order I take them out. So do pay attention. The first bolt I took out on the bottom right is just the tiniest bit longer. It's never a good sign when I bring out the uh, big pliers. All right. That is the pump. That is the oil pump. This is the locating dowel. It goes in just like that. Hey, what's up? Uh, wardrobe change. It's a couple days later. I'm going to guess what hasn't got done. Nobody worked on my bike for me. Let's figure out where we were and get back to it. I was scraping gaskets. That's a very hard place to scrape. Mm -hmm. So I went to the old cheek poker. It worked awesome. I did it very gently on slow speed so as not to mar the case up. I hope that's good enough. Um, now i got to clean up the oil pump. And then... Start reassembly. All right, I got the gasket materials cleaned off as I'm going to. Look, I realize that uh, using a wire wheel on that may not have been the best idea ever. I don't think it's the worst idea ever. Someone's going to see it and go, oh no, you can't do that. But I don't think I gouged it any worse than what I would have digging at it with this thing. Um, it's fine. It had been stuck on there for over 40 years. It'd be alright. So, I have my new gasket in position. It hangs on the shift lever. You gotta make sure those gears mesh in. There it goes. Did you see how that seated? Means my gears were lined up. Looks like Loctite on there. It's probably not a terrible idea. Little dab will do you. It's what the work said last week on his show. I'm not killing these bolts. I'm using a quarter inch ratchet and I'm holding it by the head. I don't know what the torque spec is, but uh, I'm certain that's not too much. So that is oil pump removal and replacement on a uh, 1980 CB900. We're finally putting the pulse generator back on the CB900. The whole reason I had to take out the oil pump is to change the gasket behind it because I had to take the covers off to get 
what I believe is a neutral switch indicator um, out to get the rest of this unit out. I don't have this style of electrical connector. So what we're going to do for now, I'm going to clip this off, run it through the boot. There should be enough extra to do everything. Alright, here's the deal. I don't remember how that, that, and all that fits together. Uh, it's been too long. That's the bummer of when things happen and you don't get in here for several, several days. So, I'm going to have to do what I started this YouTube channel to do, sort of. Uh, go back and look at my notes. See how this thing came apart. I do have the book, but that doesn't always show me the whole story. Went back and watched my videos, had some dinner, came back, did a little thinking, and I remembered. This... This is how the pulse generator gets mounted. These bolts have washers that grab the edge of this in here. It slides over the shaft. This clip holds down the wire. This wire sits in this slot. One wire goes over here to the I don't know spot that I have to put a new clip on. And... That's kind of how that plug gets routed. And if I slide this together like something like that. I noticed something I didn't notice when I was taking this apart. There's a channel right there that I can slide my wire down to what I believe is my neutral light switch. Here's a little trick I learned back in the day building houses. Here's my thought. I can snake my wire up and through. Can you see my, my train of thought? You see what I'm going for there? A little nub. They said if there's no video, it didn't happen, or pictures. I fish this copper wire through from there to there. And I pulled my string back, this string here, put a slip knot on the fitting, and fished it back through. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff.